Okay, today uh, I'm going to install a uh, remote uh, transmission oil filter for my uh, Sierra 2014. First of all, we need to remove uh, that cover because I want to install the filter uh, right about here. So let's do this. So, to install the kit, we need to remove this hose here. That is... This is still the, the same hose. It's going from one rod to the other one. So first we need to remove these uh, plastic uh, cap and there's a clip you need to remove. Okay, first you need to remove that black plastic cover. There's one. There's a retaining clip right here. Gonna try to remove it and not losing it. You don't want to lose this. Okay, that hose should come out. This one is ready. Now, the other one. Okay, it doesn't want to come out this way. I'm going to try the other one. One here. Okay, this one is out. And this one too. Okay, so here it is. Uh, just keep it if you're uh, selling the the truck. Uh, just put it back, and no problem there. Okay, so what I did is uh, screwed a piece of uh, aluminum there, and I'm gonna screw the filter right about here. Okay, so this is where the uh, transmission filter will be. Now, just uh, need to uh, connect the two, uh, two lines. This should be the in and the out. Okay, so uh, before uh, putting back the, the fitting into the old red, you can put back the clip in and after press pushing the uh, fitting into it, it's going to be easier.
Almost there. Okay, it's in place. Now, I can plug the fitting. Just clip it there right away. So this here is going to be your uh, out outlet from the filter or my uh, the raw kit. This is out. By the way, these are uh, the two fittings you need. Okay, now I'm gonna need to put the clip uh, back on the other one. You won't be able to see this, but that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so... Time to plug the second hose. Just push on it. There you go. It's done. It won't come out. Okay, so this should be enough. Okay, so as you can see, I have put a tie wrap over the clips just to make sure that it won't come out.
Now, I'm going to fill this with ATF. Okay, so filter. Uh, this one is uh, the XJ16. This is the one uh, I'm using. It's good for the uh, synthetic oil. Since I'm using uh, entirely uh, synthetic ATF, and this is the filter that works for this uh, derail uh, filter kit. So there you go. Now you have a remote uh, transmission oil filter. It's better than dropping the pan. Well, at least for me. Less of an asshole. Uh, by the way, uh, this is my uh, two in line oil catch can so you think one is enough check my channel for that video and you see how much I'm getting even in, in the second one so if you like what you saw please uh, leave a comment uh, give it a thumbs up maybe you can share this and uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, thanks for watching